Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. Today, I'm back reviewing some shoes for you guys. These shoes, I ain't gonna lie, probably one of the hottest ones of 2019. I was super, super excited to see these in person. I know a lot of you guys were probably anticipating these shoes as well. So I do hope you guys enjoy today's video. I'm also going to give you guys some hold or sell advice. If you guys were fortunate enough to pick up any of these pairs, I'm pretty sure that you're wondering what to do with them if you are planning on selling them so if you guys want to definitely stay tuned for that part of the video but enough of that let's get into the actual video actually I do have something to mention I'm sorry if it's the first time someone on my channel or checking out any of my videos please support the kid hit that subscribe button for me one time I definitely do not think you guys will be disappointed in the content I have stuff like this practically every day for you guys so please take a second scroll down there hit that subscribe button I definitely do not think you guys will be disappointed in the content also if you guys don't mind if you guys don't already know I do have my own resale platform if you want to inquire about purchasing any of these today I'm pretty sure that you guys would not mind going and checking out my resale platform it's also a website itemsecure.com I will definitely suggest going and checking that out ASAP Rocky also while you guys are at it go follow me on my personal Instagram my personal Instagram is pretty fucking elite as I say all the time I definitely do not think you guys will be disappointed in that either but enough of those plugs let's get into the shoes I have three boxes here all of them chrome out you guys should already know the vibes they're all different colors i even have some more of these i think i hit on 11 pairs of these which is pretty insane i still cannot believe it but today i want to give you guys a pretty in-depth look at all three of them so i don't know which one is on top we're just going to crack these open and see what it's here for this is the receipt i purchased all of these or for the most part most of them from dsm so let's see this is the red pair the red and gray university red, I guess they're calling it. These are the off-white dunk lows. These, in my opinion, are all fire, some more so than others. This one is probably my least favorite out of the three. But just to get into the details of the shoe, the lacing mechanism, as everybody knows, is the wildest part of the shoe. It has like a hot pink. I know a lot of people thought that this was like a orange or like a very vibrant orange. This is in fact hot pink. I hope the camera can pick that up pretty well. It also has a set of traditional red laces with the shoelace text written on them, just like Virgil is known to do. On the medial side of the shoe, you have that traditional off-white text. I believe it says uh, off-white for Nike, Beaverton, Oregon. In USA the same old text that we get on all of the off-white shoes you also have that distressed tongue which is I believe the only distressed part of the shoe which in my opinion is kind of a bummer I would have liked to see maybe like the sock liner a bit more distressed like we used to seeing like on the Jordan 1's or uh, you know all of the other off-white shoes inside the shoe we have a yellow insole which is the same insole that I believe is on the vapor streets and also on the waffle racers Nothing really crazy there. This is probably, uh, you know, one of the better insoles out of all of the off-white shoes. I know like the uh, Air Force Ones or like the Jordan Ones or even like the Blazers or the Prestos. They all have like pretty traditional Nike insoles. This one is a bit different. It's all yellow. Pretty dope if you ask me. But there's not really much to it. It's gray. It's white. It's red. Nothing really crazy. This one, again, like I said, is probably my least favorite out of the three. But that is just my opinion. Let's get into the next one. I don't know which one is uh coming up next but we're gonna find out another receipt from dsm like i said most of these are from dsm um what do we have this one is my favorite actually i didn't even show you guys the zip tie for the red pair um i believe that it's the same clear one but just to double check that i will show you guys yep it is a transparent more so like a dirty white or like a cream white zip tie which is pretty dope can't complain about that but to get into the Michigan colorway, this one I know is probably the least favorite, you know, among the three. But me personally, I feel like this one is the most wearable one. I can understand why some people like the green one more than this one. But I just feel like this one just complements a lot more outfits and probably is easier to wear. Personally, I think the only part of this shoe that is fucked up is the lacing mechanic. Again, with this hot pink lace, I feel like they could have maybe went with another color and it would have sat a little bit better on the shoe. But that is just my opinion. Again, to get into the details of the shoe, I already showed you guys the lacing mechanism. We have a hot pink lace sitting on top of a pretty much midnight blue or navy traditional lace. Again, with the shoelace written on it in yellow. 
This shoe, to be honest, is fire. If I had to keep any of them, this one is the one I'ma keep. I just really like the way that yellow sits and the quality of the leather on this one shows off more than the other two. I feel like they did a really, really nice job picking the colors here. But regardless, we have the same distressed tongue on this one. The only difference is that this tongue is yellow, the same insole, all yellow insole, the same zip tie, all clear, dirty white little zip tie, which is always nice to see. On the medial side of the shoe, we have that same same text just like the other pair just like all other off-white shoes this one is really really nice man I also like the way the uh, you know just the contrast between the midsole and the outsole on the red pair I can show you guys this one again I feel like this one I don't know the colors here just fit a little bit weird I feel like they could have maybe just went with instead of gray maybe like all white and red I think it would have been a little bit better but um yeah that is just my opinion once again this one with like three colors it gives it a little bit more of a you know of a pop this one i feel like the three colors kind of make it a little bit awkward but once again to each his own i guess but that is the michigan colorway let's move on to the last one we should already know what this one is probably the most hyped one out of the bunch another dsm receipt Let's get into this pair right here because this one is probably the one that you guys want to see the most. This one is the pine green pair. Again, pretty much the same shoe, just a different color palette. I can understand also why people say it's the most wearable one out of the three. Again, like I said, the Michigan colorway is my favorite one, but coming in a very close second is this pair here. Again, just to give you guys the details of the shoe, we have that same hot pink lacing mechanic. Under that is the traditional green lace, also with the shoelace text written on it. This time it is in black, if you guys can tell. I hope the camera was able to pick that up. We have a white tongue on this, pretty much it's white, green, white midsole, green outsole. With on the medial side of the shoe, we have that same traditional off-white text. This time it is written in what, black? Oh, I thought it was white, but it is in black. Um, the tongue, again, distressed, just like all the other pairs. The inside of the shoe, the insole, is all yellow, also really, really nice. The same zip tie color, that same transparent, dirty, white, off-white, I guess, no pun intended, zip tie, which is always nice to see as well. This one, to be honest, I can definitely understand it. Again, it's nice. It's definitely, uh, you know, probably going to go down as the best one out of the three. In my opinion, the biggest issue I have with this shoe is that it's just a bit too clean for an off-white shoe. We usually see like loud or like very distressed or destroyed sneakers from Virgil. This time, it's very simple, very clean. It looks like a shoe that we can expect, uh, you know, with exception to maybe like this hot pink lace that he added on. I feel like we can see this shoe sitting in the shelf in a Foot Locker but I guess you throw on these like off-white touches like this uh, you know lace the zip tie the text on the side of the shoe and it instantly becomes you know a, a extremely hyped shoe that I can understand it but uh, me personally I will definitely pass on the shoe I will you know 100% sell it but um yeah again that is just my opinion to each its own let me know in the comment section which one of these are your favorite I can already see the majority of you guys saying which one is your favorite but I'm still curious to know again my personal favorite is this midnight blue one the Michigan colorway this one is extremely fire then is this one and then in last place is the red one but once again my opinion not really worthy there but let me know in the comment section which one is yours let's get into the hold or sell it's very easy in my opinion all of these are a hold any piece of off-white footwear I guess with a little bit of hype to it I would say is a hold these are definitely not done appreciating especially as uh, you know people get their pairs off and there's not a lot of DS pairs on the market these are definitely going to continue to rise in price at the moment let me grab my phone just to see how the market is performing right now I'm pretty sure that right now they're sitting at around 400 or 500 dollars which uh, is not that much to be honest I would have expected them to be a little bit higher but um, I guess that's just the market nowadays I'm going to throw a screenshot of StockX for each of these pairs let's start with the red one for the most part they're ranging from like four hundred and fifty dollars to upwards of like six hundred dollars for the most part i think six hundred dollars is like the cap at least right now um i would say again it's a hold especially if you have like those money sizes like the six through eight i would say those are for sure a hold um if you have a larger size like that one right there the red one that i just showed off is a size 13 i'm probably going to try to sell that for like 500 525 dollars and uh you know if i do happen to uh you know hold it for a little bit longer it will definitely rise it's just not going to rise as fast as these smaller pairs are but that is that let's move on to the Michigan colorway 
my favorite one. This one is probably doing the worst on the market, at least I would think so. Um, right now, it looks like it's ranging from like 425 to the most being like 550, which is like a size eight or seven and a half. Again, I would say it's a hold. I know that these aren't doing great on the market right now. I remember unreleased pairs of these going for like a thousand to like $1,200. It's kind of a bummer that it'll take this much of a dip. But again, that is just the market nowadays. Again, I would say hold on to these. There should be no rush in letting these go. These were, I believe, retailed at 170 bucks. So uh, if you do sell right now, you can still make like a little bit over double your money, which is definitely nothing to be upset about. But I would say hold on to it maybe for like, uh, you know, to like the spring. I think that these can hit at least like 800, 850 dollars, which is definitely great if you ask me. But lastly, let's move on to the pine green one, the most hyped one. These are going for anywhere between like 525 to upwards of $700. Again, this is a hold, a definitely big hold out of all of them. I think the biggest hold would be that green pair simply because of how much the demand is for that shoe. Um, I would say if you have to sell it, go for it. Of course, make your money. I'm not going to get in the way of making your money. But me personally, I would say hold on to those for as long as you possibly can. But that is my video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, let me know which one is your favorite one. These are probably going to be the last hype shoe of 2019. I hope you guys uh, you know, were able to pick one of these up if you were going after them. If you weren't, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be more releases. So, you know, brush it off and uh, keep your head up because, uh, yeah, there's definitely nothing to be upset about. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like for your boy, comment your thoughts, and as always, please subscribe to the channel. It'll definitely be appreciated. But thank you guys so much for watching once again. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, peace.